fathomless deeps of space swims the star turtle, Great Atuan, bearing on its back the four giant elephants who carry on their shoulders the mass of the Discworld. Magic glues the Discworld together. Magic collects in the Ramsbottom Mountains, which stretch from the frozen lands near the hub, all the way to the warm seas which flow endlessly into space over the rim. Raw magic crackles invisibly from peak to peak and earths itself in the mountains. In the round tops, the leaves on the trees move, even when there is no breeze, and the rocks go for a stroll of an evening. Even the land at times seems alive. At times, so does the sky. On, on nights such as this, witches are abroad. Youngest. I could manage Friday. Hurry up with the tea, love, I'm that parched. You said it quite well. Just a bit more work on that screeching, ain't that right, Nanny Arm? Very useful screeching, I thought, Granny Weatherwax, and I can see that goody whipper. Thank you, Rusty Beast. Gave you a lot of help with that squint, my gran. It's a good squint. Thank you. I'm glad we decided to form this coven. Oven? Coven, Githy, you know, hey. like in the old days, a meeting. A meeting. Something coming. Can you tell by the pricking of your thumbs? By the pricking of my ears. Oh, Goody Wemper was a good witch in her own way, but far too fanciful. Oh, great. No one would come up here this time and night. What's he afraid of? Us. <laughs> it's all right. Give that to me. No. You are witches. Does the skin of witches turn aside still? I'm not sure you might want to give it a try. Sir, with respect, sir, it's not a good idea. Be silent! But it's terrible bad luck. Must I ask you again? But sir. Miss, your peasant magic is for fool. Mother of the night, I can strike you down where you stand. Then strike, man, if your heart tells you, strike as hard as you dare. Who's he? He rules this country. Oh, that can be right. It's a baby! Ooh, a baby boy. Anything else in there? Um, there's this. It's a crown. It's got all spiky bits on it. Hmm. Granny Weatherwax didn't hold it looking at the future. But now, she could feel the future looking at her. And she didn't like its expression at all. Oh, dear. Fell 
Some eternal his aspirations, plan to rule over a nation. One prevented his vocation. That was King Varenz, Varenz, that was King Varenz. So did Felix have a plan, smart and cunning evil plan to kill the rest of so be down. To a dark abyss where you can never sleep, where your mind is tormented by your evil doings and you're constantly haunted by screams, voices, whispering. Me and all, the Lady Felmet had control, gave the Duke his final goal. To push for ends and watch him roll to fall on his own dagger and stagger and fall into a pool. Certainly, my dear. What? I'll have some cut down and brought in directly, my cherish. Lady Thelma was temporarily speechless. This was by far of being a calendar event. She was a frightening, impressive woman who gave people the impression that they were seeing a galleon under a full sail. The effect was heightened by her unfortunate belief that red velvet rather suited her. However, it didn't set off her complexion. It matched it. Cut. What? Down. Oh, uh, the, the trees. What have the trees got to do with it? What I said was, how could you have been so stupid as to let him get away? I told you that servant was far too loyal. You cannot trust someone like that. No, my love. You didn't, by any chance, consider sending someone after them, I suppose. Benson, my dear, and another guard. Oh. Well, he wouldn't have needed to go at all if only you'd listened to me, but you never do. Do you want my passion? Leave your hands alone, you've washed them five times in the last half hour. But I can't seem to get rid of the blood. The blood of the crown. I must find the crown. At the gatehouse, the castle guards in the hall are playing cripple Mr. Onion. A very complex thing, but they've been great intensity on the dish. Wait. <laughs> Deal? <laughs> Nonsense for questions in order to widen the doors of perception. Oh, that again? The faith, Uncle, there are more full of questions than a market there is of vision sales. <laughs> oh, right. Who does not without? Without? Without what? If you're going to play about, you can bloody well stay with that all day. No! Let me in! I must see the Duke upon the instant. Witches are brought. Witches? Right, tea break over, lads, to your duties. Right, tell me everything. Your Majesty. And? The baby was taken by witches. Witches? 
Oh yes, we have lots of them all right. <laughs> and the people don't do anything about them. They tolerate them. Ah, yes. It's considered good luck to have a witch in your village. My word, yes. Why? <laughs> the Chamberlain hesitated. The last time the Chamberlain resorted to a witch, it had been because certain rectal problems had turned the privy into a daily torture chamber. And the jar of ointment she had prepared had turned the world into a nicer place. <laughs> <laughs> they smooth out life's humps and bumps. <laughs> Where I come from, they don't allow witches, and I don't propose to allow them here. You'll furnish their addresses. Mm, your Majesty. Where they live, I trust your tax gatherers know where to find them. <laughs> I trust they do pay taxes. Well, not exactly pay taxes. <laughs> More like they don't. <laughs> <laughs> the old king, he, he just didn't think they don't. I see. You may go. Well. Indubitably. So that was how your family used to run a kingdom, was it? You had a positive duty to kill your cousin. It was clearly in the interest of the species. Quite so. It would appear there were many witches on the moor that night. It might be hard to find those exact three. That doesn't matter. Of course not, no. Put matters in hand. Yes, Pato. Matters in hand. He'd put matters in hand, all right. If he closed his eyes, he could see the body tumbling down the steps. Had there been a hiss of shot breath down in the darkness of the hall? He'd been certain that they were alone. Matters in hand. He tried to wash the blood off his hands. If he could wash the blood off, he told himself it wouldn't have happened. He scrubbed and scrubbed. Scrubbed till he screamed. Sergeant! S Sergeant! Yes, my lord? Go out into the town. Bring me a witch in chains if necessary. Uh... What? Yes, my lord? It's meddling, that's what it is, and no trigger will come with it. It's a dead. It's a wizard's dead. Very romantic, isn't it? Oh, but well, yes. That's what we brought that baby out here to save him. Do you want us to keep it safe? It's obvious he's destiny. The point is, the people are going to come looking. Serious people doing serious looking. Boiling all down the walls and burning off of that sort of thing. And get that? I think we'd all appreciate it if you stopped gurgling like that. You're not telling me how to look after a child and me with 15 children of my own. I'm just saying we ought to think about it. Well, well, first we need to take him away from here or no one knows who he is. And then there's this. Staring at me. He's trying to get me to try it on. It's just being what it is. In blood I came, and in blood rule, but none shall dare assay his walls of blood. No, no, no. Get out of the tide and clutch to his poor ass. How about the king's bride? She may be your wife now, but I will always be your first, your last, your everything. Oh, no, you would have fed up with kings. They want a better chapter. Well, what about a uh, wizard of sorts? Or please yourself? People are not fed up with Mr. Matoma. My dear boy, he will come to the theatre to experience, to learn, but to wonder. To laugh. Yeah, I'm over this way. They're strolling players. When I was being trained by Goody Wemper, my <laughs> dress of peace, she used to take me to Razorback and into Langford when the strolling players were in town. She was very keen on the theatre. They've got more crowns than you can shake a stick at. Although Goody used to say they're made out of tin and paper and stuff, and just glass for the jewels, but they look more realer than that one. Hmm. Things that try to look like things often do look more like things than things. Well, no fact. Though I don't know but encouraging it. What are they strolling around playing then in these crowns? Don't you know about the theatre? Oh, yes. One of them kind of things, is it? Goody Wemper said it held up a mirror to life. It always cheered her up. We expect it would play properly at any rate. Good people are they, these players? I think so. And they stroll around the country, you say? All over the place. Right. Let's get near him.
Now, I'm just going to put this crown on this bush here. You will tell me if anyone tries to take it, won't you? Yes. yes. Now, if I could just find my horsey. Behind you! <laughs> You're playing tricks on old Kingy, you naughty, naughty, All right, naughty. cut. Next section. Faith, there is a sound without. Mayhap it is my husband returning. Quick, into the garth road. Wait not upon the order of your going. Mammy, but your may have my pantoufles. <laughs> the Archbishop, your majesty. Diverse Adam! May I assist you, good ladies? Olwyn Vitola, at your service, manager of this band of vagabonds. Yes. Well, I always thought you was very good too. I hope we didn't upset things. My dear ladies, could I tell you how gratifying it is for a mere mama to learn that his audience is seen behind the mere shell of the grease paint to the spirit beneath? I expect you could, Mr. Vertona. I expect you could say anything you like. Now, what do we owe this visit from Thanks. three such charming ladies? We'd like to speak to you, Mr. Vertola, and to Mrs. Vertola, but in private. <coughs> but of a certain, lead on Master Schul to yonder esteemed watering hole. He means the pub. Fancy a drink yourself. Not now, get the. May I be as so bold as to ask you if your union has been blessed with fruit? She means... No. I see. No. We had a little girl once. Only there's this child and he needs a home. It's no life for a child. Always moving. Always a new town. No room for schooling. They say that's very important these days. <laughs> Why does he need a home? He hasn't got one. At least not one where he'd be welcome. And you, who also saw by way of being his... He's godmothers. Money is, alas, tight. But, but it will stretch. <coughs> yes. Yes, I think it will. We should be happy to take care of him. They should take care of clothes and things, nappies and such like, whatever. Hundred times over, I should think. Why didn't you uh, mention this before? If I had to buy you, you wouldn't be worth the price. But you don't know anything about us. No, we don't, do we? Um, naturally, we'd like to hear how we get so long. You know, you could write us letters and things. But I think it would be a good idea not to talk about this after we've gone. You know, for the sake of the child. There's something else, isn't there? Something big behind all this. But it would do us no good at all to know about it. What's his name? John. Tom John. <laughs> ah, young Tom John. Big farewell to your godmothers. Boy, Tom John. Boy, Tom John. are his godmothers. We ought to have given him free gifts. It's traditional. Free gifts, eh? I haven't done one of them since I was a girl. Right. <laughs> a bloody good memory ought to have. He'll always remember the words. <laughs> he will make friends easily. In, so I put it in, like you said, underneath everything. Good. That crown looked really tatty compared to the others. Did anyone see you? No, everyone was too busy. But... Yes? Just after I'd hidden the crown, a man came up to me and pinched my bottom. 
old Biddy Remper. She didn't get out much, did she? It's her leg, you know. But she taught you midwifery and everything. Yes, we did lots of that. But she didn't teach you about what you might call the previous. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you know, men and such like. What about them? I think it might be a good idea if you have a quiet ride with Nanny Og one of these days, fairly soon. The word was out. Witches were abroad. In fact, not just abroad, but definitely too close at hand and meddling things that should not concern them. And not only that, they weren't even paying their taxes. She did what? She gave me a cup of tea, sir. And what of your men? She gave them one too, sir. <laughs> Sergeant. Sir? I mean, it is possible that I may have confused you. What I meant to say was bring me a witch in chains if necessary. But perhaps what I actually said was go and have a cup of tea. Is this in fact the case? No, sir. I wonder why then you did not do this thing that I asked. Sir? I've heard about these witches. I expect she said some magic words, did she? She offered you visions of unearthly delight and showed you Oh, dark fascination, forbidden raptures, the likes of which no mortal men should even think of, and told you demonic secrets that took you to the depths of... And the thoughts. Oh, yes. <laughs> Are you all right, sir? What? Oh, yes, uh, perfectly, perfectly, yes. Only you've gone all red. Don't change the subject, man. Admit it. She offered you hedonistic and licentious pleasures, known only to those who dabble in the carnal arts, didn't she? No, sir. She offered me a bun. <laughs> a bun? Yes, sir. It had currants in it. Oh. And what did your men do about this? They had a bun too, sir. All except young Roger, because he can't have fruit, sir, on account of his trouble. <laughs> he had a biscuit, sir. See, <laughs> you may go, sir. Sir, I am already extremely married. Advise me, my fool. Be faith, nuncle. Nor am I thy nuncle. I feel I would have remembered. If you preface your next remark to the faith, nuncle or marry shall go hard with you. How do you feel about prithee? Prithee? I can live with. And so can you. But no tapering! Oh. How long have you been a fool, boy? Why, sit up! Oh. Not sit up! Oh. <laughs> All my life, sir. Seventeen years under the bladder, man and boy. My father before me, and my uncle at the same time as him, <coughs> and my granddad before them, and his... And so your whole family have been fools. Family tradition, sir. Good. You come from these parts, don't you? Married! Yes, sir. Good. So you know about native beliefs and so on? I suppose so, Good. sir. Good. Tell me about the witches. But not now. Well, where are the witches? Uh, the Chamberlain would appear to be right, beloved. The sergeant of the guard came back empty handed. You must have him executed to make an example to the others. A course of action, my dear, which ultimately results in us ordering the last guard to cut his own throat by an example to himself. You seem to be uh, fewer servants around than usual. Housekeeping is under my control. I cannot abide slackness. 
What of these witches? Will you stand idly by and let trouble seed for the future? Will you let these witches defy you? What of the crown? No doubt it ended up in a river. And the child? He was given to the witches. Do they do human sacrifice? Apparently not. These witches, they, uh, they seem to cast a spell on people. Well, obviously. No, 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 not like a magic spell. They, uh, they do medicine and so on. It might be difficult to move against them. I could come to believe they have cast a glamour over you as well. In fact, you like it, don't you? Yes. The thought of the danger. <laughs> I remember when we were married, all of that business with the knotted rope. Oh, no, not at all. Then no. what will you do? Uh, wait. Wait? Um, wait and consider, yes. yes. After all, patience is a virtue. Does it always rain around here? Marion, Uncle, just answer the question. Sometimes it stops, sir. Make room for the snow. And sometimes we get some right squandering orgulous fogs. Orgulous? Thick, my lord, from the Latation Orgulum. A suitable for us. And bored, fool. Let me entertain you, my lord, with one a merry quip and lights and jest. Try me. Well, I'm waiting. Make me laugh. Why, sirrah, why may a caudled fill horse be deemed the brother to a hidden candle in the night? Withal, because a candle may be greased, but a fill horse be without fat argia. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and then what happened? <laughs> that was by way of being the whole thing. My granddad thought it was one of his best. I dare say he told it differently. What's that? It's an earthquake! We don't have them in these parts, my lord. It's the witches, isn't it? They have to get me! Hurry, no, They run this country, don't they? No, my lord, they never. Who asked you? Who did, my lord? Are you arguing with me? No, my lord. You're in league with them, I suppose. My lord! You're in league you people. I'm the king. Do you hear me? I'm the king! <laughs> the man is my lord and master, the fool called. At your school, he had been taught that a fool should be faithful to his master until the very end, even after all had deserted him. Good or bad didn't come into it. Even if Thumbit was three parts bonkers, the four was his fall until one of them died. To his horror, he realised the Jew was weeping. Is this a dagger I see before me? <laughs> no, my lord. It's my handkerchief. You can sort of tell the difference if you look closely. It doesn't have so many sharp edges. <laughs> Good fool. Are you loyal, fool? Are you trustworthy? I swore to follow my lord until death. I didn't mean to do it, no. I didn't want to do it. They made me. Lena! <laughs> yes, darling? Yes. What is that earthquake? Um, uh, 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 witches, I suspect. So they still defy you. Well, well, how should I fight magic? With words. What? In the guild, we learn that words can be more powerful even than magic. You clown. Words are just words, brief syllables. Sticks and stones may break my bones, 
Words can never hurt me. My lord, there are such words that can. Liar. Usurper. Murderer. These words have no truth, but they can spread like wildfire, breaking it, out to it's burn. It's true. It's true. I hear voices of the time. Lying. It's the witches. Then they can be thought with other words. Words can fight even witches. What then? words? Crone. Evil eye. Stupid old woman. You're not entirely an idiot, are you? You refer to rumour. Just so, my lady. The witches. They're evil. And they're out to get me. They make it come back. The blood. And some table doesn't work. The Duke was totally mad. Several bricks short of a bundle. So far around the twist, you could use him to open a wine bottle. That's the castle shook and the fool shivered as he wondered what he had got himself into. He thought of the guild of fools and joculators in Ankh Morpork, behind whose severe grey walls he had trembled his way through seven years of terrible tuition. He remembered his grandfather, winner of the honorary cap and bells for three years running, making him repeat jokes by rote, hammering every punchline in with his belt. He remembered trying to make a joke up when he was about seven. It was about a duck. His granddad had given him the biggest thrashing of his life. You will learn, lad, there is nothing more serious than jesting. Never, never ever let me catch you joculating again. as Granny Weatherwax hurried along the frozen pathways in the forest. This was Hogswatch night, when it was unheard of for a witch to go out. Mad Rats came hurrying up the path from Mad Stoke. You felt it too? Rose Gifter. From inside, you could hear occasional shrieks of laughter and the sound of the Do you think we should go in? I mean, it's not like we're invited. We haven't even brought a bottle or anything. Sounds to me as if there's been a deal too many bottles in there. <laughs> oh. Happy old choice night, Mrs. Miss! Miss! Oh, oh. Sorry, Miss Weber Wax. Woohoo, me old boy! Lower up a drink, up too! Hey! Oh, I can see you're busy. We just wondered if you might have noticed anything. Tonight, a little while ago. Oh, Darren's eldest was sick when his dad's beer. Someone tried to dance on the table. <laughs> right on Ritarix, pop cake dip. We had a good laugh. <laughs> Extremely worrying developments of a magical tendency.